when he is ordained, Deacon Christopher Bethje will be following in the footsteps of several men who he sees as true fathers, priests who stepped in and helped him through difficulties in his own life. Growing up, my parents were divorced when I was about nine years old. Mm -hmm. And I have no doubt in my mind that the priests that I've met through my life have filled that void in my life of mm -hmm. father, really truly being father to me, both in my home parish, in cathedral prep, high school seminary, in the college seminary at Douglaston, and throughout my time in the major seminary. God's never outdone in generosity, and God's provided in my life those priests, that, those fathers that I've needed. Deacon Chris cannot wait to be ordained and be called a father himself. He desires to fill the void in the hearts of the people he will serve. A father is someone who can discipline, but also someone who loves deeply. And in the world today, we need fathers, because we very often go off on the wrong path, and someone needs to remind us that there's a path we should be on. There's a difference between right and wrong, and you can't just mix the two and think it doesn't matter. But there's definitely a clear way to follow Jesus. And my goal, I mean, the vocation I feel in my heart is to show people the path, the path that God has called for them to follow, to become the saints that God wants them to be. Deacon Chris will be ordained alongside nine classmates, including Deacon Jose Andres Enriquez Castaño. Deacon Jose says that he never dreamed he would become a priest because he wanted to have a large family, with enough kids, he jokes, to fill a baseball team. Just a month from the ordination, Deacon Jose knows that God isn't ignoring that desire, but fulfilling it to overflowing. The Lord just gave me a much bigger family, not only eight boys and three girls, you know. Now I could have a baseball team. I mean, the kids in my parish, so the Lord blessed me that way. I didn't, couldn't have it one way. Now he gave me a much bigger one, you know. Deacon Jose, too, looks forward to becoming a father to his entire parish. The priest is very central to the life of the parish and very central to people's spiritual life. So. He becomes a father figure in that way. He, he becomes all things to all people. You cry with some, you laugh with others. I want to, for my parish, I, I really want to bring them the love of Christ. That hopefully, God working through my hands, God speaking through my words, they can look at me and in my eyes see Jesus and the love of Jesus for them. To those who may, like them, hesitate to follow God's call to the priesthood, Deacon Jose and Deacon Chris offer simple advice. Be not afraid. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.